Let's do the fish pose, Matsyasana. So start in staff pose and bring the hands into the low back, coming down onto the elbows. And then see if you can bring the crown of the head down to the ground, looking behind you. If the crown of the head doesn't go to the ground, use a block to rest the crown of the head on so that you get that lovely stretch in the neck. This stimulates the thyroid gland and the thymus gland, deters colds, promotes immunity. And it's an intense neck and back stretch. So as always, listen to the back and to the neck. If you can bring the crown of the head onto the ground and you don't have to keep the hands and the elbows where they were, you can move them so that you're settled into the position. If you're right there, you can bring the hands to the heart center. Or maybe if your low back is quite strong, you can do the flying fish, lifting the leg. Only if your low back is well warmed up and strong. Fish, Matsyasana, is an upper back bend, a good stretch after a shoulder stand. It strengthens and stretches the neck and releases neck and shoulder tension. It also regulates the thyroid and parathyroid. It promotes deeper breathing and deters colds. Avoid this pose if you have high blood pressure or a neck injury. If you found this helpful, please like the video. Also, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss upcoming videos. We at LearnFreeYoga.com would love to read your questions and your comments below.